up YouTube, y'all know the vibes, it's your girl KC, and today's video, what we're going to be talking about is how to boost your self-esteem, so stay tuned! Have a positive attitude. Having a positive attitude can always help you have a, can always boost your self-esteem because, you know, you just have a positive, you know, attitude. Like you're feeling in a great mood. You know, you're feeling okay. You're feeling good about yourself. And I feel like that can help you boost your self-esteem. Because, you know, I want everybody that's watching this video right now to have a good self-esteem. So listen closely. Say positive things to yourself. Say like, say things like you're beautiful. You're going to make it. You're going to get up there. You're going to follow your dreams. You're going to accomplish your goals. You're going to buy this new car or buy whatever you want to say. I would say say nice things to yourself. Say positive things to yourself. Say positive things that are going to come into your life that you know. And say positive things that you, what you call it, that you know that are coming for you or that you know that are, what you call it, um, coming to the life you want to live. So I would say, Say positive things to yourself. I feel like nobody should say no negative things to yourself. I better not hear no negative things from nobody about yourself. I don't like when people say negative things about themselves. Like some people literally say like, oh, I'm ugly. Or I don't think I'm cute. Like I don't like people who say that. I want you to have a good self-esteem. I love to hang around people who have a good self-esteem. Not people who, what you call it, who have a low self-esteem. Surround yourself with people who make you feel good. Yeah, surround yourself with people who uplift you, who make you feel good about yourself, who tell you that you're, what you call it, who encourage you, basically, for what I'm trying to say. It's like people who who make you, what you call it, feel good about yourself. Like, like you cool, you chill, you know what I'm saying? Like people who tell you, like you just a cool ass, you know, girl or cool ass boy, you know what I'm talking about? But I don't like to hang around people or surround myself with people who make me feel good. Because if you don't make me feel good, I'm going to cut you off. And if you're hanging around somebody who don't make you feel good, you need to cut them off. Like, for real. They got to go. So, and tell them that I said that. Casey said you had to go because you don't make me feel good. Because I don't hang around people who don't make me feel good. Most definitely, I don't. I don't like people who don't make me feel good. Get up and get moving. I would say get up and get moving can also boost your self-esteem. Like, what you call it. You, be, you reaching your goals can also help you boost your self-esteem because you're focused on something. And I feel like that can help you. And I feel like get up and get moving. Like, you know, don't just sit there. Like, life is too short to just to sit there. It really is too short to just to sit there because everybody else got it moving. Get it moving too, okay? Write out a list of things you admire about yourself. What do you admire about yourself? That's your hard working, your determined, your more. What you call it? You always get things done. Those are things that I admire about myself. Like me, I don't give up. Like we don't give up around here. I don't personally give up. I'm someone that keeps moving. And those are things that I admire about myself. When something is hard, I don't give up. I keep, I keep on what you call it, going through the task over and over and over again until like something happens. Or I pray about it. Another thing, I pray about it. But something's too hard and... That's something that I admire about myself. So what do you admire about yourself? That's what I want to know. Because that can help you boost your self-esteem. That, that can help you make that can help you feel good about yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others. I cannot stress this enough. But can y'all stop comparing yourself to others? Like for real. Stop doing it. Like everybody's is on different journeys and stuff like that. Lots of people always want to compare their life to others. Oh, why her life? Why is she living a better life than me? Oh, why she had this? Oh, why she have that? Oh, why he has this? Oh, why he has that? Like, stop comparing yourself to others. You are different. God made you different. And why would you want to be somebody else? Because some people, when they compare themselves, it's like they want to be that person. So I'm going to say stop comparing yourself because, and that's when that's what makes you have a low self-esteem too. And, that's the, and we want to have a good self-esteem about ourselves. So stop doing that. Because you are different from that other female. You are different from that other guy. So, and you probably got a better personality than whoever you're trying to compare yourself to. That's another thing that people don't realize. You probably have a better personality than the person you're trying to compare yourself to. 
Or you got better goals planned out than them. So stop comparing yourself to them. Like, stop doing that. Do not compare yourself to others. Please don't do that. Because Casey don't like that. Another thing is heal your past. Lots of people cannot boost their self-esteem if they're thinking about things from the past. Now, we all have went through things in the past. I went through things in the past. Your mom went through things in the past. Your dad went through things in the past. You got siblings who probably went through things in the past. But I feel like if you don't heal your past or, like, just accept what has happened to you in the past, you can't move forward. And another thing, you can't boost your self-esteem. You can't. You cannot have a good self-esteem if you're still thinking about things in the past. Everybody goes through things in the past, but they get, but they keep moving and they get through it. And I feel like if you have not healed from your past mistakes or healed from whatever has happened to you in the past, you can't move forward. And unfortunately, you cannot boost your self-esteem. You just can't. So heal your past right now. We'll start in today. List your accomplishments. Whatever you have accomplished, bruh. Write them down. You might hit 100K subscribers. You might hit 2K subscribers, 3K subscribers. You might probably pass your driver license. I mean, your driver's test. You probably might have what you call it, good grades in high school or college. You probably got a 4.0 GPA. Like, if those are things you accomplish and you're proud of, write it down. Because that will make you feel good about yourself. And I want all my babies or my subscribers to feel good about themselves. Because I don't want you guys to have a low self-esteem. I don't like people to have low self-esteem. I want you to feel good about yourself. Always. Stop worrying about what others think. Oh my gosh. Like this one right here? Yeah. Stop worrying about what others think. Because me personally, Casey don't care about what you think. I don't care. I don't give a F about what you think. I really don't. Because it's like, how are you going to talk about somebody and say all this stuff about them? You're just thinking about all these things about, about the person, but you don't even know them. That's the crazy thing. Like, people always got things to say, but they don't even know you like that. And I was like, stop worrying about people who talk about you and say stuff about you because they don't know you like that. They don't know, they don't know what you've been through to even be on this earth. They don't know what you've been through to even be, what you call it, living your life. And I was just stop worrying about what others think because, man, we're not living, we're not here on this earth to care about what others think. We're here to, what you call it, live life, reach our goals, and do what we were meant to do on this earth. That's what we're here for. Not caring about people's opinions about us. Because, I mean, I don't care about what your opinion is. I really don't care. Because you don't even know me like that. You're just looking at me on camera talking to you. That doesn't mean you know me. But you will find out soon. Let negative people go. Yes, if you have someone negative in your life right now, you need to cut them off right now. Because I don't really like to hang around negative people. I don't know. It really, like, bothers me. And it really gives me, like, I don't like negative energy coming into my circle. So if you have a negative person in your circle, you need to let them go. And if they don't understand why, you better tell them that Casey said you're a negative person and you need to get out of my circle. Because who wants to hang out someone, who wants to hang around someone who's always down talking them and saying stuff like that, saying negative things about them and stuff like that. So let people like that go. And don't be afraid to let a negative person go. Because some people be afraid to let a negative person go. It can literally be your own friend. Well, ain't no friend you should have be, should be negative. This should be positive. Surround yourself with positive people, not negative people. Avoid negative self-talk. Some people, they do say negative things to their self. Like, oh, I'm this, oh, I'm that. Oh, I don't really think what you call I'm pretty enough. I don't really think... I'm doing that well in my life and stuff like that. And I feel like if you keep saying negative, if you keep saying negative to yourself, then that's just someone you're just someone who thinks negative. And you don't want to think negative. You want to think positive as always. So stop trying to have negative self-talks with yourself. Stop doing it. Stop trying to be a people pleaser. Oh my God. There's some people out there who love to please people. Me, I ain't pleasing nobody but myself. I don't know who you trying to please on this earth because you ain't, live, you ain't on this earth to please people. You're here to please yourself. So stop being people a people pleaser. Oh, I got to look like this. Oh, I got to dress like this to, to please my friends and stuff like that. Of course, you want to look nice, but please yourself. Like, stop trying to please people because when you become a people pleaser, it's like, it like, it like, what you call it? 
not let you have a self-esteem at all. Like a good self-esteem. Because all the time you're just like trying to please people with the way you look and stuff like that. I feel like it be my females. And guys too. And some guys too. But I feel like just stop doing it because you're not here to please nobody. You're here to please yourself. Encourage yourself. You should always encourage yourself. I love to encourage myself because I know Casey going to make it on this YouTube channel. I'm going to make it up there. I'm going to like, I'm going to be a big YouTuber. So watch. But me, I always encourage myself always because I just know I'm going to do, I'm, I just know I'm going to make it. And I want you guys to know that you're going to make it too. So I personally will say encourage yourself. Like say positive things to yourself, basically. Focus on living a positive life. Yes. Focus on living a positive life will help you. Boost your self-esteem. Because when you focus on, on, what you call it, on living a positive life, that will help you boost your self-esteem. Because we're all here on different journeys to do what we're, what we're supposed to do and live our purpose that, that we're meant to do. So I would say focus on living a positive life. Whatever you're trying to do with your life, do it now. Don't wait till you're old. Focus on living a positive life, okay, y'all? But that's the end of this video. I hope you guys like it. I hope I inspired you. I hope I uplift you. And I hope that, what you call it, you start today having a good self-esteem and not having a low self-esteem. I hope that you say nice things to yourself and not say negative things. I hope that you surround yourself with people that are positive, like you. And I also hope that you subscribe to my channel, too, because when I roll to 3K. So... With that being said, see you in the next video.